The only way to dispel darkness is by introducing light. Stopping by today to encourage you to turn on the light and to help you help introduce some light into your day and also to encourage you to do the same for someone else. It's not enough for us just to be encouraged. We need to introduce light into every area of this world. So let's look at Psalm 119, chapter 165. It says, great peace have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. I love this chapter of Psalm. Psalm chapter 119. There have been times that I, in my personal prayer time, have prayed these passages. So much power packed stuff there. Psalms are tremendous for being able to pray and express what you're feeling. Um, so Psalm chapter 119. This verse is a really good one because it speaks to something really powerful. Uh, it gives us some truths. Here's the first truth. It is this. It is that you cannot have peace and be offended. They are contradictory terms. They do not work together. This passage says, great peace have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. If you have the peace uh, that is uh, available to us, if we love his law, then you are not offended by things. Why? Because peace and offense do not stay in the same place. We live in a day and an age where there is so much offense. People are offended with people. People are offended with government. People are offended with jobs. So many reasons to be offended. But the reality is that we don't have to live in a state of offense. As a matter of fact, that was not what was created for us. This is something lesser than where we are really called to live. So uh, what does it say is the pathway to peace? It's this. It's the love of the law of God. It is his command. Scripture tells us this. It says, what's the greatest commandment? Love the Lord thy God. And the second is like the first. Love thy neighbor as thyself. When love is leading and love is guiding, a love for his law, a love that calls us not simply to just know his law, but to live his law, we find that we are able to have peace in a world where everybody else may be dealing with offense. I am encouraging you today, if you are dealing with any degree of offense or if you have no peace in your life, get into the book, get into the word of God and begin to ingest it. Not only read it, but begin to live it out. Begin to apply the principles of scripture to your life and you will find that as you fall in love with his word, as you become intimately involved with his word that you will be able to enter into a place and uh, have a degree of peace like you've never had before because it's his desire that we have peace not that we be offended if you are offended just understand that God has something better for you today Get into his word. Let his word speak to you. If you've got to go to Psalm chapter 119, it's a great place to start. It will help introduce light into the dark circumstance that you are facing today. So I want to encourage you, turn the light on for yourself and then turn the light on for somebody else. Share these posts. Don't only share them. Make your own posts. It is Tuesday. Share your testimony. Let somebody know how good God is. The only way that we will combat the darkness that the enemy is introducing into the world is by sharing the light of the world. That is Jesus Christ with this world. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.